Hello everyone and welcome to our first stop on our roadmap to creating an app with MIT App Inventor or Codular. In this video, we're going to be going over the design plan for our app. As I mentioned in the roadmap video, there are a few main questions we want to ask ourselves. What is the purpose of the app? How can you make it valuable? And does it even need to be an app or could it be something like a website? Once you have figured out the answers to those questions, you are ready to create your app. The first part we're going to need to do is grabbing some paper or opening up Adobe Illustrator and creating a chart design of our app. This is the part that outlines what you're going to be doing for the rest of the series. You'll be making what you want your app to look like, how you want it to behave, what you want stored, and more. There are many platforms that you can use to create your own designs. Some people use Adobe Illustrator, some use Lucidchart. I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator. For my app, I'm going to need a home page that users can sign into or sign up. The app I'm creating is meant to have Bluetooth connectivity between a project known as Project Enable and the user. If you haven't heard of Project Enable, Project Enable is a prosthetic system and design aimed at making the world a more accessible place. By creating open source prosthetics, this allows for more affordable devices to be sent around the world. Now with such a unique project, it's going to have unique users, and the unique users are all going to need to set their own settings. Now the users can have the settings to the device itself, but it can be quite complicated. By having an app on their phone though, they can connect with their device straight from their phone. So for the design, I'm going to need a user database, which we'll be using Google Firebase for. We're also going to need it to be simple to understand and use. It will also need to have Bluetooth connectivity with the device. With a combination of these things, we can create an app. Now what I'm doing here is I am making the login slash sign up kind of screen. This is the part where the user will come in on and they can either press login or sign up or they can even log in using Google thanks to Google Firebase. Our first home page, as I said, will show a user login or register page. By pressing register, you'll have to create a profile and then register the device that you have with that profile. By pressing login, the user will use their email address and password or Google to log in. For now, we are not going to be having a working forgot password link. This is just a simple demonstration, but that can be added later. Just search up how you can create one somewhere on YouTube and I bet you'll find it. If you'd like me to make a video on that, let me know in the comments. Our next page is going to be the user interface for the app. By logging into the user interface, they can look at the settings they have for the device, as well as edit settings such as sensitivity, speed, and more. We are also going to need to have a logout button, as well as a simple profile button that will show them information pertaining to their profile. Now what I'm doing here is creating the background. The background is one of the most important parts to making a good app. It gives aesthetic and it makes it really nice to use. I like to use a freeform gradient, of course, with your branding colors, which for Project Enable is a tealish color. And then I like to get that freeform gradient so that it looks better with the buttons or whatever's going on, on the screen. Like if you're gonna have a login screen, you don't want to have darker colors or where the user is going to input. Or if you're going to have user interface screen, you don't want to have darker colors blocking out the buttons. So I use a freeform gradient and I try to make it light and simple and make it easy to read. You want to make it look as nice as you can. I then make the buttons part. So for Project Enable, we are going to have three sensitivity modes and then also a custom sensitivity mode that they can set in the sidebar. The sensitivity modes will control how sensitive the hand is or the prosthetic is so that it stops at a certain point. When you press the buttons, it will then send a Bluetooth, uh, a Bluetooth connection like signal over to the prosthetic, which will then set that set sensitivity mode. What I wanted to do here was make it easy to read, simple, and very user friendly. You have to remember these are people with with disabilities. They need to have something easy to use and is friendly to them, specifically built for them. So that's what we were doing here. By doing this, it makes the app a lot more simple, aesthetically pleasing, and it makes it a lot faster. As I've said before, especially in the roadmap video, a simple app is a fast app. By having a simple app, you know that your code is refined and still easy to read. By having an easy to read and refined code allows it so that the program can go through that code at a much quicker rate and then you can have a much better and faster app. Once we have it all drawn up and designed, we are ready to go to our next stop. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of the stages.